10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bob and Doug. America has launched. One out, Bob. And so rises Copy. a new wow. era of American space flight, one, and with it the nominal. ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9, and look at them go! Hey everybody, welcome to the unboxing of the new Estes Falcon 9 uh, Crew Dragon rocket. Uh, I wanted to literally open this in front of you all as it came to me. And as you can see, it, uh, it came a little, little tattered, but it's not a bad thing. The box itself uh, was very well packed. It had a lot of air, uh, one of those air bubble packet uh, packages around it. So it was well protected in the box. But when I got to the box for the Falcon, this outer paper was pretty well shredded. But again, that's inconsequential because I need to tear it off anyway. The box itself seems to be in good shape. And from what I've read on the reviews, that's pretty much what makes this kit so um, respectable amongst the modelers. It's not necessarily the detail in the rocket, but <laughs> how it's actually packaged. So uh, I am anxious to see uh, what it's like when we get inside of it. But let's go ahead and rip this paper off and get into the inside of the box and see what we get. Okay, I will admit it is a very nice box. Very, uh, very classy. Uh, very professional looking. Let me turn it around so you guys can see it. So there's the Falcon 9 Crew Dragon. It's 1 100th scale. If you compare that to the other uh, RTF rockets they've done, the Saturn V, the SLS, those are all 1 200th scale. This is a 1 100th scale. Um, and it is going to be a little bit taller, I believe, than the Saturn V in overall height. Uh, there's the front of the box. There's a the side. Here's the back. Looks like the back is a bunch of uh, specifications and details about the rocket itself. It does tell you uh, the overall length is 25.63 inches. Its um, estimated weight is 4 ounces. I'm assuming that's before the motor. And uh, they say it'll fly up to 300 feet on a C63 engine. So uh, when I do fly it, I plan on probably doing a C5. Just, just to get that little extra oomph. So, all right, well, that's it for the outer box. Now, it is, it's like a sleeve box, so we're gonna unsleeve it this way. Okay, that is a very tall box. All right, we'll set that there. Uh, the back is identical to, in fact, I guess the whole box is identical to the, the sleeve, and it is wrapped in pretty very well tightly uh, packed cellophane. So we're going to have to cut that. Let me grab a knife here. This is very tightly sealed. Let's see if I can just get one end out, then we can slide the rest off. There we go. Uh, I, I tend to think that what they were saying in the reviews about uh, the reason the price on this is so high is because a lot went into the packaging. So, because this is very this is very quality. This is a sturdy box. This is not your typical Estes uh, box. It's very thick cardboard. 
and a very tight seal. I'm trying to lift it out, and you can feel the suction from it actually. Nice gold embossing or silver embossing, it might be, on the lid. Almost got it. Oh, I could feel it trying to suck back down. There we go. Okay, nothing on the, the inside of the top lid. See that? That's that is a solid box right there. Okay, so first thing I see is the foam protective layer on top. Go ahead and remove that. Oh my goodness, wow, look at that. That is one very nice looking rocket. I'm guessing that maybe a BT-55 size tube. Okay, and it comes already mounted to the shock cord. Um, okay, and the shock cord is mounted, looks like right here at the top. I don't know, it's not going to be able to see that on camera, but the, uh, the rubber shock cord is actually mounted maybe an inch and a half down. And it looks like maybe three quarter inch on the shoulder of the, the capsule, so it, it barely clears it, but it does. Okay, that's interesting. There's um, a little tongue and groove that the nose cone, as you rotate it, it will pop into that little little notch there, and then that's the accurate um, rotation of it. So that's an interesting uh, feature there. Okay. All right, now let's get to some of the accessories. Oh, I sure hope that isn't here. Let me. I don't want this thing to fall. But I got to get down to the um, looks like an accessory box here at the bottom. The tolerances are so tight on everything. Here. There we go. I don't think there's anything under this part. No. So we can set this aside now as well. All right. So in this little box, you've got a bag of uh, all sorts of goodies there. Let's see, okay, here's your your clear plastic fin for flight, and then in this bag. Looks like a parachute and possibly a display stand. Yeah, so if that mounts in the center. I don't I think I must be missing something right now because that's not holding. But I, I haven't even gotten the instructions yet, so... Okay, I'm not sure what that is. That might have something to do with the, uh, the stand. There's a metal pin in here. That may have something to do with it as well. Probably should have read the instructions ahead of time, which they did provide online. Okay, so yeah, the, this metal shaft goes into this hole here. Okay, and then I believe we're going to be able to mount that in that center engine. There we go. And there's our, our stand. So there you have it, the Falcon 9 from SpaceX. Seems like it's a little wobbly. Um, not quite sure why that is. Unless I, in fact, do need this portion here. So let me see. We're learning as we go here together. How does this? Does this rotate? The last thing I need to do is uh, break something here. Yeah. So this just twists off. Oh, okay. So it rotates clockwise to remove. So it's opposite of what you would normally want to do. So turn it in to unlock it. Okay. And then this portion here. 
I guess would take the place of the motor. Okay, so that would go where the motor would be. Then lock this back in place. Then set this on the stand. There we go. Much more sturdy. Okay, there we have it. Eh, not 100%, but much better. Okay, and like I said, it also comes with the clear plastic fin for actual flight. So that, the parachute, your little uh, warranty, your manual, that is all that comes in the kit, but I think that's all you need. So thanks for watching the unboxing. Now we're going to hopefully head out to the, the range here pretty soon and get some flights in, and we'll show you how that goes later on. So thanks for watching. Landing zone coming into view for the first stage. Again, this is the first flight for this booster and first landing attempt. Stage one, landing leg deploy. And as you can see, a picture perfect stage landing one. of this first stage booster. It's first flight and first landing.